Yeah Wu Bean's 100 Lessons to Mastering Time Management. Lesson 56 How to Complete the Monthly Review. Hello, everyone. My name is Yeah Wu Bean from Yishan Eng. I am so happy to be with you now at 6 a.m. on the Shimalaya app. For those of you who have been following my lessons, welcome back. And if you're new here, welcome aboard. I am really sincerely happy to have you with us. Time is man's scarcest resource. Once it's used, it can never be regained. So if you're not using your time effectively, or if the time you are spending is only getting you further away from your dreams in life, then stay with me. Listen a while, and I am confident I can help open your eyes to a new path that will get you closer to your dreams. I want to remind you, there are 100 classes in this album, and every class lasts about 6 minutes. It is updated at 6 a.m. New York City time each morning. We'll continue talking about reflection in today's lecture. There are reflections of one day, one thing, and life, divided by time dimensions, such as reviews of a day, of the week, or the month, etc. Today we're going to talk about one of those time dimensions, the monthly review. I have completed monthly reviews for over 40 months now. This has allowed me to review what I've done in the current month almost instantly by using the second search feature. That is, searching in a second. For example, I can instantly see all the events I completed, the places I went to, the people I met, etc. in each given month. I am able to retrieve the history of each day quickly because of the habit of keeping a morning diary each day. I've kept a morning diary for over 7 years and for 4 years doing it continuously every day. When I add my daily information into Evernote, the application will allow me to retrieve the status and weather condition of that day's information for the year before and the year after that in merely a second. It is really quite convenient, so I highly recommend using Evernote to store your daily diary and your daily activities. Continuously recording your events like this preserves memories like birthdays, but more importantly it allows us to observe our progress over time and see what mistakes and habits we repeat and should work on. Recording allows us to look back and see exactly how we acted over time. We can trend and understand our behavior. We can look back on those memorable days only if we keep a record. We can remember birthdays, anniversaries, special events. We can share thoughts with friends. You know, your friends will be amazed at how considerate you are when they remember all the special days. This monthly review is a good time to conduct a full summary of your own experiences over the last month. First, determine which key words are most prevalent in the past month, such as work, health, life, travel, and so on, so you get to categorize the previous month in themes. It's better to summarize your month in the context of your 20,000 and 50,000 meter goals and ensure that you're on track. Make sure you're on track to the right goals. Each month, check that your monthly activities are aligned with your annual goals. Make sure they're putting you on the right path. You know, our memory is weak. Our memory is unreliable and we easily forget things. Therefore, recording it is much more reliable and consistent and allows us to look back over that time with objectivity. Another advantage of the monthly review is that it gives us the opportunity to review and reinforce our goals. It's impossible to achieve our goals without repeatedly reminding ourselves of these goals over time, and the monthly review is a good opportunity to do that. As time passes, you will forget the goals you set unless you write them down, and then constantly review them. Therefore, we should often review our own goals and review what we are doing to achieve those goals each day, each week, and each month. Drucker used to share a method of reviewing goals in his book, Managing Oneself. The method is called Feedback Analysis, which is a very popular in the European business community. Feedback Analysis. First, he instructed us to list future goals for months 9 through 12, that is 9 to 12 months ahead. Then, each month, review how the achievements of the past month related to those 9-12 to month goals, and was it getting us closer or further away? After 40 months of practicing this myself, I have achieved great breakthroughs in my life. Therefore, 
We should not only keep a morning diary every day, but also complete weekly reviews and monthly plans. Then, as Drucker said, continually review the relationship between your current activities and your long-term goals. If there is no alignment of these short and long-term views, then you are not coordinated in your strategy. If you can use this systematic method taught by Yu Shuang, combining theory, technology, and tools, then you will gain a fresh and powerful perspective, and will gain control of your life. These audio lessons are translated by Yu Shuang's partner Cici, and then recorded by her husband Justin. I wish you great success today. See you tomorrow.